we're going to answer the question, what is f of g of h? So when you're doing the composition of two functions, you always sort of start from the outside in, and it's no different when you're doing three. So this is going to be the same as f as, sorry, I got to get this going again, f of g of h of x, which in itself is f of, maybe I'll make these brackets, g of h of x. So you always work from the inside. Once you get these nested from the outside in, you sort of solve this by plugging into the innermost parentheses. So in place of the h of x, we're going to put the function that is called h of x. And they tell us that h of x is the square root of x. So what that means is that we want to put the square root of x into this function g. So, oops. So, g of the square root of x. Well, if you look at g, g is 7 raised to the x. So in place of x, we'll put the square root of x. So this is going to be f of the function g, which is 7, raised to the x. But now in place of x, we're going to use the square root of x. And that's what we're going to put into the function f. So now f of... 7 raised to the square root of x is just, well, f of x is the absolute value of x minus 7. So this is going to be the absolute value. In place of x, we're going to have 7 raised to the square root of x, and then minus 7. And that's the answer. If they had given us a value, like if they had just said x is 4, then h of 4 would be the square root of 4. So h of 4 would be 2. And then we would be finding g of 2, which would be 7 squared, which would be 49. And then we'd be finding f of 49, which is the absolute value of 49 minus 7, which is 42. So you're basically finding, you're just putting in each new function, replacing x in the one that it's uh, nested into. So let's do this with numbers because it would probably be more helpful. Let's say x equals 4. Okay, let's do it on paper. So f of g of h of 4, well, you're going to do f of g of, plug 4 into h, and the square root of 4 is 2. So now we're going to plug 2 into g, which is going to be 7 squared is 49. And then we're going to plug 49 into f, which is the absolute value of 49 minus 7, and that equals 42. Now, to see if we got it right, let's just plug x equals 4 into our answer. So our answer is that f of g of h was equal to the absolute value of 7 raised to the plug in 4, so the square root of 4 is 2, 
and then minus 7. And so this is the absolute value of 49 minus 7, which equals the absolute value of 42, which is 42. So if we do it in pieces, we get 42. But if we do it with all of them composed together, we get the same answer, which leads me to believe that we have the correct answer. Thank you. Thank you.